Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Galaxy.com and today we have the Lenovo A706 with us and we are going to do a hands-on review and overview of this device and in terms of the look and feel, this device is fairly good. You have a premium kind of look at the backside. You have in terms of the overall specification, we will just go through the specification before we do that. Let me just give you a hardware overview of the device. In terms of thickness, the device is not very thick. It is around 9 mm in terms of the thickness if we talk about. You have the volume locker which is again two buttons which you have. On the top you have the power and sleep key over here. Here you have the 3.5mm audio jack. Here you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging. And you have nothing over here on the left. On the bottom you have no ports, nothing. On the back side you have a nice Lenovo branding. And here you have the cam. On the back side you have a 5 megapixel camera which is an autofocus camera and you do have LED flash over here to for the low light photos. When it comes to the front camera, the front camera is VGA. You have a nice earpiece over here. You have the proximity sensors over here, Lenovo banding over here. When it comes to the capacitive touch buttons, you have the touch capacitive buttons at the bottom of the phone on the front within the body, not within the display. And here you have the primary mic for voice calling. When it comes to the secondary mic, we do not notice any secondary mic over here on this device. You have a 4.5 inch IPF display on this device and the viewing angles for the display are pretty okay, if, if not very wide. I do notice the fading of colors which is happening if you view the screen from this angle or from this angle. We have a little intent to remove the back cover and let me just remove the back cover to show you the phone from the back side. So it is a dual sim phone and again it has a MediaTek processor inside. As far as the battery is concerned it is 2000 mAh battery which you get on this device. You have dual sim slot, sim slot, sim slot 1, again normal size sim card will go inside. You have a micro SD memory card slot over here to expand the storage and 32 GB micro SD memory card will be supported on the device. And the overall UI which we see on this device, the UI is again enhanced like any other Reno phones which you see. You have a custom UI layer which is running on top of Android and the UI is pretty responsive I do not notice any lag uh, till now on this device as far as going across different applications or going across home screen when it comes to home screen you have like four, five home screen as of now and you can increase these home screens up to nine maximum let me just go to the settings to show you the again the notification center is also customized to make it look different you do have all the toggles which you will need uh, in the notification center as you can see and let me just go to the settings to show you the overall specification so here we have all the specifications as you can see and let me just go to the version info so the device is running 4.1.2 out of the box and if we talk about the storage option here we have the storage option the storage which is there on the device is 4 gb internal storage out of which 2.08 gb is actually occupied by the operating system for apps and pre-installed data and then you have 1.49 gb available on the device which you can use for storing uh, pictures videos and you can also install apps option of changing the default install storage location so you can change the store location for the uh, to the memory card in case you want to add a micro SD memory card you can expand the storage and you can install apps to the micro SD memory card but we can't confirm whether you can move apps to the SD card or not when it comes to the brightness you do have support for automatic brightness on this device as far as the price of this device is concerned this device will be available at a price of 15,949 as, as far as the MRP is concerned the model number is A706 as far as the sound enhancement options are concerned you get a Dolby Digital Plus sound experience from the loudspeaker as well as through the headphones which are supplied within the package from this on this device as far as the processor is concerned you get 1 GHz quad core processor on this device and you get 1 GB of RAM let me just show you the uh, status of the RAM so if we go under apps and if we go under manage apps over here if we take a look over the running applications the default free RAM which you get on this device out of 1GB is 433 MB which is the browser which we see on this device is again optimized to make it look different it is not the stock Android browser which you see we do not have the internet uh, as of now available here so we won't be able to show you the browser performance let me just show you the camera UI and the performance of the camera so like the camera on the device is a 5 megapixel camera which is an autofocus camera and it does have tap to focus as you can see and let me just take a photo right now and again we have taken this photo as of now in low light so the quality won't be that good but again uh, in terms of the colors the photo is looking good let me just show you the photo again so in terms of the overall colors the photo is looking good when I, when I zoom in uh, into the photo and when I take a look over this particular photo as you can see uh, you do see good amount of noise in the photo again that is because of the low light so the camera has performed pretty well uh, as far as the low light is concerned the photo looks to be pretty good as you can see this is how the device looks like in natural and this is how it looks in the uh, photo 
to also have GPS support on this device. So this device does support GPS with the help of uh, GPS satellite and assisted GPS options. So make sure you enable these options before you can use this device for navigation. In the pre-installed application which you get on this device, again you have a very custom UI and you get a large number of pre-installed applications with like file manager you get pre-installed, you have a calendar application, sound recorder application, all the regular applications and apart from that you also get some games also pre-installed like this one and you have a different kind of mapping application available on this device. You do have a messenger and google plus pre-installed on the device and you also have evernote pre-installed and you also have fm radio also on this device uh, you have some games which will come pre-installed so these are the pre-installed application and apart from the stock android browser which we see on this device you also have google chrome pre-installed that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on review of the a706 uh, Lenovo A706 is concerned. Do let us know if you have any specific questions on this device. As far as the initial expressions are concerned, we like this device in terms of the overall design. The design of the device is good. The back side of the device is quite premium. The back cover has metal, uh, at least in this part over here and you have plastic over here which is glossy so the overall look and feel of the phone is quite premium at this price point uh, we would love to help you if you have any specific queries on this device we would love to help you you can leave them in the comment section below you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you